Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Ryan Zaps and in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to go from having facial hair that looks like this to having a complete beard that people are gonna compliment you on like this. Stay tuned, I'm gonna drop all my tips and tricks and my protocol exactly how you can achieve results like this. What's up guys, I'm gonna break down the exact protocol I use to go from having, you know, ugly little whiskers on my face, thinking that I would never have a beard, I would never be that guy, to, you know, achieving something that looks like this. So basically, you gotta just pretty much believe in yourself, go slow, know that this can be you, and if you just take your time with it, you'll have really nice results. I knew this was gonna be a little bit of a process, so I didn't buy this stuff thinking, oh, I'm gonna have a beard in a week. No, it's like, you're gonna kinda, you're gonna grind it out, you're gonna take some time with it, but honestly, one box of this minoxidil stuff, and I was, I had my beard. And the nice thing about this, guys, is once you've created those follicles, and once you have that growth on your face, it's not going anywhere. So you'll be able to keep this beard, you're not gonna have to keep microneedling, you're not gonna have to keep putting on minoxidil, you're just gonna be able to, you know, rock with it and just have it forever so you're really investing in your face so what we have here this is a little program i built or a protocol guide uh, i'm going to link this into the description if you guys go down below check out that link just drop your email in and then you're going to get this sent to you um, which is going to be the exact outline of what i did to achieve this it's very simple i'll break it down with you guys i'll add in a few little tips to help you guys out but pretty much if you're in a similar boat like me and you have a little bit of facial hair then just know that honestly a good three months and you'll have a full face beard. Uh, I wanna see before and after pictures. So if you guys are doing this, take some photos right now, take some pics, let's see what your face looks like right now and then let's see what it looks like after you know a few months of dedication and committing. So what you're gonna need, these are the two, uh, I guess, tools we're gonna leverage. It's minoxidil, which is gonna act as our like fertilizer and then we're gonna use a micro needle device. There's a few different kinds I'll go over, but this is the exact products I use to achieve my gains. And yeah, I really have no complaints. Um, I've heard some people don't like the Kirkland minoxidil stuff, but it was the cheapest and it works, so I didn't really care to spend money on different stuff. Where I spent a lot of money, guys, was on the micro needler. So you can do the cheap route, which is like a derma roller. So I pulled up Amazon. These things are dirt cheap. Um, but honestly, like from what I saw in the research I've done, you don't want to use a derma roller because it's going to be making angled, you know, like cuts, I guess, in your face where the micro needles and the pens, these are actually doing like straight in and out insertions on your face. So it's going to give you better results. I didn't want to really gamble with my face. So for me, spending the extra money was a no brainer. It's kind of like, I don't want something to go haywire. So, and I want it to look good. Like I said, this is your face. So I find it pretty important. If you are on a budget and you really don't care, then yeah, go with the derma roller. And I've seen guys get great results with this, but it's not what I wanted to do. So I actually went with an expensive option. Um, if you guys know Derek, more plates, more dates. He actually recommended this one, and that's the one I use, which is the Derminator 2. It is expensive unit. I want to say it's almost $200, but you get what you pay for. I was able to get really nice results with it, and that's what you saw in the video. Uh, that I was using. So like I said, you'll, you're gonna need a micro needler. You wanna go at least one millimeter in depth. So make sure when you guys are buying the derma rollers, you're getting one that's one millimeter in depth. So you're just gonna have to look around and make sure that the length of the needle is one millimeter. And same thing goes for if you're gonna get a pen one, you, or uh, sorry, the pens, you can actually adjust the depth. So there's most of the time there's a dial on them or like on my fancy one, there's a button right there that says depth you can pick the speed so you can exactly get it how you need it um, and then secondly we're gonna need minoxidil so I recommend going with the Kirkland stuff 
it's cheap, it's effective, it works. Um, it's liquidy, but it does the trick. And yeah, I wouldn't really overthink this. This is what worked for me. Like I said, budget guys, don't get this obviously. But even I was looking on AliExpress guys, if you guys check on Ali, there's actually some pretty decent kits at a pretty decent price. And you honestly don't need that many needle heads. Like I only had three that came with my unit and I honestly used like two of them for a very long time until one of them broke. And ideally you wish you want to use like a fresh needle every time, but I didn't care to spend that much money on fresh needle heads. So I reuse mine a lot guys. So don't be afraid of like, you don't need a crazy amount of needles. You don't got to get some like, I saw there's like some insane packs here. I don't think you need all that. Honestly, a good three pack of needles, one millimeter in depth. That's all you need. Uh, they make different heads. So there's like a five needle head, 11 needle head, 15 needle head. More the merrier. It's not a big deal. Just don't be getting one that's like a single needle or like a three or four needle. You want at least like, I would say at least six needles on it. It's just going to be making more holes on your face and it's just going to, I don't know, make you have results a little bit quicker and not have to micro needle as much. So I'm going to overlay a video again right now of me micro needling. So as you're seeing right now, I just kind of go around the areas of my face where I want facial hair. Don't be going way up high into spots where you don't want hair. So like near your iris or up on your cheekbone or anything crazy, but kind of envision where your beard's going to sit in that natural line and try to respect that as much as possible. Cause what that's going to do, it's going to make it easier for you moving forward to maintain your beard, trim the hairs, you know, take off the little cheek whiskers. It'll just be easier if you actually take the time and make that nice line, that nice taper. So don't just go crazy and go nuts. If you struggle with under the chin hairs, it works there as well. Um, I had decent growth under here. I didn't really focus, but I still went underneath there. I'll overlay a little video right now showing kind of what I had underneath, um, during the process. But main thing with this whole, uh, protocol guys is consistency and time. So I was pretty diligent. I had it on my calendar. I was like habit tracking this thing. So every day I was either doing the minoxidil or the micro needle, and I'll get into the specifics on that. But just don't jump into this thinking you're gonna have a beard overnight and you're gonna look like this in like a few weeks. It did take me, I wanna say a good three months to be like, wow, this actually worked. And it's something that you notice slowly over time. So definitely just take your time with it. So like I said, guys, I use minoxidil germinator. Um, pro tip, before you use minoxidil, try a very small amount on your skin to confirm you won't get a weird reaction. You might be one of those weirdos that can't use minoxidil, but it's a pretty common over-the-counter drug or compound, however you want to describe it. So I don't think most people are going to have any issues, but just put a little bit on your skin, wait a little bit, make sure you don't have a reaction, you don't bubble up, you don't get some weird you know, uh, side effect from it before you go and slap it on your face because that would be pretty bad. And for the actual, uh, you know, regimen for doing this, uh, I like to do a needle and then hold off on the micro needling for about four days or so. Go with the flow. You'll be able to feel your face. Like if you're due for another micro needle or if you feel like the minoxidil is not stinging enough, uh, you will get a little bit of a sting when that minoxidil goes on because it's kind of getting absorbed right into your face. And that's the whole point of the micro needle is that you're increasing the absorption rate and you're just making it more efficacious. So pretty much I have it outlined here and I wrote it down more specifically, but you just want to micro needle uh, once. I recommend doing it at night. If you do it during the day or in the morning, you might run the risk of going to work or going to school with a little bit of a you know red face or it might be a little bit irritated. So definitely just do it at nighttime, go to bed, wake up the next day and then micro needle or sorry a minoxidil at nighttime so you want to give your face roughly 24 hours of break before you throw the minoxidil in because if you do it right on like close after you micro needle you'll get a little bit too much absorption of minoxidil and there could be side effects from that so you want to give your face enough time to sort of heal before you throw the minoxidil on it but after that first day so micro needle at night next day micro needle uh or sorry minoxidil at night and then you can start doing twice a day minoxidil. So morning, night, morning, night, morning, night, and then back to the micro needle and then following again, wait 24 hours and then use the minoxidil. I listed this all out. If you're confused, very simple. 
And uh, in terms of how much product you want to use, there's a little dropper. I'll show it right now on screen. You just want to fill it to the one mil line and just dap it slowly around your face like you're seeing right now and then just work it in. Uh, the guys that already have a little bit of facial hair, it's gonna be a little easier for you because your hair is gonna kind of lock in that liquid and trap it there. But for the guys with no facial hair and kind of how I was in the beginning when you have a baby face completely, you wanna just you know put a little bit, like less is more, it's gonna go a long way. So you just wanna splash a little bit on your face, rub it into that beard area. Same thing with the micro needle, don't go up high, don't put it anywhere you don't want hair. Um, just be you know cautious. I would even use a rag to like wipe away the stuff that would kind of get too high in my face just to, you know, I really want the growth to be right where I need it so that I didn't have to maintain hairs up high for the rest of my life. So really take your time and do it right. And yeah, like honestly guys, like one pack of this, so it's a six pack for this minoxal. One pack lasted me like my whole gains. Like I never had to restock or get more. And even this micro needle kit, like I said, like I reused my needle heads more than you probably should have and I was fine and never had an issue. So it's kind of like a one-time investment and as long as you guys are due diligent and you do it every night, you will get some crazy gains. So pro tip also, uh, have a comb or have some kind of like little brush like this guys. This is gonna go a long way because the minoxyl does dry your face out quite a bit. So you're gonna be getting like dry, kind of flaky, irritated skin where you're putting the minoxidil. It's kind of the price to pay if you do want a beard, but honestly, what I would do is I just would always have a comb on me and I would just exfoliate the skin a lot and just get all that flaky dead skin off you. That way it's gonna also increase absorption when you put minoxyl on and you're just getting rid of that flaky skin. So that would be one thing. Don't think you're some crazy weirdo getting a bad side effect. I get dry and flaky skin when I use minoxidil. I'm actually currently kind of trying to work on my little corners a little bit more. So right now, actually, as we speak, I have a little bit of dry skin there, but it's not a big deal. Once you stop using minoxidil, your skin will be back to normal and 100%. So aside from that, just trying to think if there's any more pro tips I would give you guys. Um, so yeah, don't don't minoxidil the day you micro needle. Um, yeah, morning and night on the days that, you know, you're just getting your minoxidil on. That's why I did this calendar. So just pick a schedule that works for you guys. And honestly, I want to see results. So if you guys don't have facial hair right now, take some photos so that you can do the before and after pictures because you'll be shocked, man. Like, I didn't think this would work. And, you know, proof is in the pudding. Like, it completely changed my life. Walking into a room with a full beard, you just become that guy. And I think if you guys are watching this video, you're kind of inspired to get that manly, you know, giga chad looking beard. So yeah, definitely cool thing that you can do now, biohacking and you know, these tools is something we're really fortunate to have. But that's pretty much the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, I'll hit you back. Uh, and also feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna be dropping more little tips and tricks and biohacking stuff. So if you guys like the format of this video, feel free to throw the notifications on, subscribe. Check out my Instagram, check out my Twitter, you know, my links will be down below. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching and until uh, next time, peace.